Okay, everybody, good morning. Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Just woke up not too long ago, so a little looking a little crazy. But I'm trying to make sure I get this video up before I leave for work. But another slight risk anticipated today. A couple different areas to talk about there in regards to severe weather. We have this area over here towards northeast Kansas, Kansas City. And the threat for this is going to mainly be hail potentially even some significant as there's a hatch risk over there and then our secondary as you can see is over towards the ohio valley we talked about that yesterday during the stream and then also the southeast does have a marginal threat along with the rest of the ohio valley to go along with it hail is a threat with that as well as damaging winds and cl the closer you get towards ohio especially towards eastern ohio there is a five percent tornado threat this is what we're going to be going live for hopefully later this afternoon it depends on how, what time we get initiation here there is a point of interest over here particularly for me towards eastern ohio maybe even towards the ohio pennsylvania border and i'll be keeping an eye on that region right there that is our threat for today this is what our current storm system is looking like right now and as we continue to roll forward here you can already see is this is pushing off to the north and east we do have a little opening right here a little bit of divergence occurring and with that that's going to be the, all that we need to get our severe storms going there are a couple limiting factors with this as well the wind profiles aren't quite as impressive of course with this system moving out forcing and also just the, all the parameters in general really are going to kind of start to fall off here we do still have some pretty good low level jet around this area so we're gonna like i said it's still worth keeping an eye on but i don't know if i would expect the same kind of day that we had let's say yesterday from the morning onward i think it'll be a much shorter term event but nonetheless though still going to be keeping a close eye on it we also can go ahead and look at our 700 millibar region this is the middle of the atmosphere we're looking for short waves and we don't see anything super stout until late late in the evening there's a spot right here towards south central ohio and then eventually northern ohio northeastern ohio that's a point of interest as well if we continue to roll forward here a big limiting factor to me also is the moisture from what I've been seeing but it does look like we have a, gotten a little bit of an uptrend since last night though like I said I just woke up so I'm kind of reacting to these new models along with you guys in a way but nonetheless here we do have this nice little pocket of moisture where those dew points are in the 60s key point of interest right there is definitely going to be towards eastern ohio and ohio and pennsylvania here so eyes open folks so the next thing we'll look at is our instability and we do have a good bit of it that that's one thing i did see on the models last night and for this morning it looks like they're holding true we were actually getting close to 2500 joules per kilogram so we had a pretty good uptrend here of course this could easily change it could downtrend or it could uptrend further so like i said if you're over towards eastern ohio make sure you are staying weather aware today don't want anything like this to sneak up on you and cause you some trouble here then the last thing we'll go ahead and look at is our simulated radar here currently we'll have showers and storms moving through in the early parts of the morning we'll start to get some clearing and this is what's going to help the atmosphere recover and get going do see some storms try to fire around lunchtime, but the main event really starts around about what looks to be five or six o'clock here. And then continues for a couple of hours. And as it pushes off to the east, we lose those dynamics that are essential to keeping these storms going. So mid-range event, maybe about three or four hours. This is during a time where I'm capable of going live. So I will be seeing you guys this afternoon. That being said, it's another quick video for you. Thank you again for all the support lately on the channel. Absolutely loving it. Hope to see you guys at the stream tonight. Till then, take care. Have a good rest of the day. It's been Tire Metalhead Weatherman. Take care.